the videos you put on your Facebook feed are fantastic pieces of content that you should also be showcasing on your WordPress website. So today I'm going to show you the easiest ways to embed those Facebook videos onto your WordPress website. So this is the easiest way to add your Facebook videos onto your WordPress page, in my opinion, and it's by using Smash Balloon. And what we're looking for here is Smash Balloon Facebook feeds, although Smash Balloon works for a whole variety of your social media. But of course, what we're looking at today is Facebook. So this is the Smash Balloon Facebook feed pro, and I'm just going to show you how to use that. So we're going to head across to my website. So you want to be on your WordPress admin dashboard to get going, and then you're going to install the plugin. If you are unsure on how to install plugins, then you want to hit the link for the video that I will show at the end of this one. But once you do have your Smash Balloon Facebook Feed Pro plugin installed, we're going to go across, you're going to find it in your sidebar just here under Facebook feed, and we're just going to click on that. From here, Smash Balloon is going to show you any of the feeds that you currently have available, any of those Facebook video feeds, and give you the option to add new, which is what we want to do just up here. It's then going to give you a whole variety of options as to what kind of Facebook feed you want to create. Now, of course, today we are concentrating on videos, so that's what we're going to do. But you can see all of the different things that it can do. The events is particularly useful because it means that you can put events up on your Facebook and then show them on your website automatically. And then you don't have to go backwards and forwards with two things. But let's create, let's concentrate on videos today. And next, from here, it's gonna ask you to select a source. And this is where you are going to link your Facebook page. I'm gonna use our WP Beginner WordPress page in order to find the videos that I want to use. So click that one and go to next. Now from here, this setup wizard is super easy. It's gonna give you different types of themes, which is gonna help you generate something that looks really fantastic. So I'm gonna go for just the default theme here and hit next again. Again, the wizard's making it super easy. You've got all of these different feeds, all different ways that you can make this appear. Again, we're gonna stick with the default one just here and go next. So here is where it's gonna start pulling things in from your Facebook with you having to do very little. This is why it's so easy, or at least it's one of the reasons. So what we can do is we can just show all of the videos from my videos page on Facebook, or if you have specific playlists, you can choose a specific playlist to show. So if you have multiple different pages on your website and you want to show different things, just create a playlist and then you can add each different playlist to each different page in order to make your life a bit easier and make your website look really great. I'm going to show all videos on my Facebook page in this instance. And again, just hit next. So this is a preview of what the page is going to look like. And you've seen what we've done there. Actually, very little. All we've done is told it what videos to add. And it's automatically created a feed that shows all of those videos. Now, I have Facebook to thank for all of these wonderful thumbnails that it has generated where I'm obviously looking my absolute best. But this is every video that is currently showing on our Facebook feed. Now what we can start to do is we can start to adjust and amend this however we should see fit. So if we head over here, we can select the theme that we showed earlier, start changing that. And then we can start to change things like the color scheme. So you can see what we're doing at the moment is we're inheriting it from our website's theme, which is the thing I always recommend doing because it makes it appear seamless. It's another page that fits in perfectly with your website. But again, you can change that. You see how easy that is. So we've now got a dark theme, there's a light theme. And again, we can customize that to whatever we want. I always recommend going with inherit from your actual website's theme that you have installed because it will just look way more seamless. I'll show you a couple of more of the small adjustments we can make. So if we go to header, we can turn that off entirely if we want. Why would we want to do that? I really like having that. And again, we can just turn it to text if we want. Again, if that fits in with the theme of the rest of your website. But I do think that the visual one looks so much better. And there's a variety of things you can change there in terms of sizing. Then we've got a like box. Do we want to add a like box? Absolutely, we do. We want to add that so that people can like our Facebook videos from the website, which is absolutely fantastic. And again, 
we can adjust that as we see fit. And finally, we have the light box. So this is how the video is going to pop up. You can click on the video and it will pop up in this light box and it will look like this. I really like this. I think it looks great. And it also means that people are more likely to concentrate and watch multiple of your videos, which is really great for dwell time, which is really great for the SEO of your website. Everything starts to snowball together and give you a really interactive, immersive experience with a great looking website, all from the few clicks that we just did to create this smash balloon feed. But let's embed it onto a page and see what it looks like. So once we're happy with the way that this looks, we can embed it into the page that we want. So how we do that is we're just going to come up to embed, click on it, and it gives you all the details step by step. So you have the short code, which is very useful to add. However, the easiest way I find to do this is to use the WordPress blocks. And I'm just going to come down to add to a page because that's what I want to do. So I'm going to click here and I'm just going to scroll down and I have this page here where I want to add it. This is Facebook videos. So I'm going to click on that page and just click on add. So from here you have the page as you would see it. This is essentially your blocks editor page. And just in this section here, I'm just going to click on the blue plus just here for insult inserting blocks. And I'm going to search for Facebook. There it is. So you can see I've actually got a few options there from Smash Balloon, but today we're focused on the Facebook. So let's click on Facebook feed. And then you just want to select the Facebook feed. The one that we just created is the WP beginner one. So that is the one that we want to select. And you can see there in a couple of seconds, it has created a whole feed onto this Facebook videos page with us having to do very, very little. So we can come across and save that. And once that page is updated, we can go and have a look and see how it looks on our website. So let's do that. And there we have it. So we have my website and we have a full WP beginner videos feed and I can hit here on load more. And this will just continually load more and more videos all the way through showing every single video that we have as we go down. You can see there the like box that I added at the bottom there so people can click and follow the page. They can share our page, which is fantastic. And then you can pick a video, this one here, and it's just going to pop it up in the correct format so that we can watch it. And then we can just scroll left to right through every single video that is there. And this is what I mean about increasing dwell time and engagement. It's really great for using one of the best like ways to get eyes hey, look, onto it's your me. WordPress page Don't is with contests lovely. and giveaways. This So Smash Balloon Facebook Feed Pro, it's the simplest and easiest way to insert a Facebook feed into your WordPress website. And it's super flexible as well. Obviously, you can use it for things other than videos. And if you want to add just an individual video rather than adding a whole feed, you can do that as well just as easily. If you do want to pick up Smash Balloon Facebook Feed Pro or any of the other social media feeds that Smash Balloon offer, then hit the link down in the top pin comment or in the description, which will take you through to the website and give you them for the best possible price, which at this moment is 50% off. Well worth checking out. If you're interested in seeing how this works with TikTok, then click this video right here. And if you want that video on how to install a WordPress plugin, click this video right here.